Southern Food Junkie here, guys. Going to show you a little recipe that we like to make sometimes for breakfast. We're about to show you a few ingredients. Pretty simple to make. So, uh, we're going to show you what we're going to put in it. All right, guys. Here's our ingredients that we're going to use. This uh, recipe that I grew up uh, eating. One of my best friends, uh, mom, used to make it all the time. My mom used to make it all the time. It's very good. Uh, you can make it the night before. You can have these. What it is is uh, cheddar cheese and sausage biscuits. And what we're using is a sharp cheddar cheese. Southern Home brand, which is the Bilo brand, our local grocery store. Just any kind of sausage. I normally like to buy a Nisa sausage. But it has, it's gotten really high here recently. But it's a really good high quality sausage. And I'm going to use Bisquick. Now you can use uh, your favorite flour if you want. Make regular biscuits and add this ingredients into it uh southern biscuits what a lot of people around here use i know a lot of people use white lily too but you can use whatever your choice so we're going to show you the rest of it here in just a second so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and get this started we're going to uh, get our pan here heated up and we're going to uh fry our sausage in it we're going to scramble the sausage and then we're going to take our cheese and grate it up now you can buy shredded cheese if you want i prefer to have uh fresh grated cheese shredded cheese usually has this uh coating on it that uh keeps it from sticking to each other while it's in the bag so it don't clump up and stuff and it absorbs moisture and it just takes away from the taste for me but so we're gonna grate this get this sausage started and then we'll get back with you all right so we're gonna take about a half of a pound of block of cheese so we got eight ounces here we're gonna grate that up and we got a pound of sausage here that we frying up and we got it on about medium high heat and like i said you just want to break that up real good we're going to fry it up and then we're going to drain the grease off of it because you don't want to have greasy biscuits i'm going to go ahead and turn my stove on here to about 375 let's check our let's see here biscuits it actually says uh, 450 on there. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to preheat our oven to 450. Get all this. May have to drain the grease off a couple of times. Uh, like I said, this is cheaper sausage, so it does have a probably a little bit more fat. We're going to add in some of this redneck pepper. I'm probably going to put in... Maybe like a teaspoon of it, just to give it a little bit more kick. So, we got our cheese grated up here, you can see. And then we're going to start throwing in our mixture for our biscuits. Once we do that, we're going to combine the... We'll drain the sausage. And then once it drains, we'll combine the sausage and the cheese with the biscuit dough. And then we're going to roll it out here, cut them, stick them in the oven... And then 15, 20 minutes we'll be done. We'll have a quick and easy breakfast meal for you. All right, guys. I pretty much double the uh, recommended amount that Bisquick said. Um, it called for two and a quarter cups. So we use four and a half cups of flour, two thirds of milk. So we just double that also. We've incorporated our cheese and our sausage in here. We're going to mix this together, dump it out on our uh, flour cover surface. We're going to knead it a few times, roll it out, and then we're going to cut these biscuits up. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. We're going to roll this out. This is what it looks like once we get it all incorporated and we didn't knead it. We got it rolled out. It's about a half inch thickness. And look at my, my fancy biscuit cutter here. We're going to make some cat head biscuits. Look how big that is. So all we're going to do is just go in here. And we're just going to cut these. Like so. Let's make a bunch of them like this. And once we get these done like this, I got a kid's hand sticking in there. Once we get these all cut out, we'll roll the dough back up, roll it out again, and do some more. So we got some little helpers in here with us tonight that's trying to trying to help us here. Uh well we got it rolled back out again, and you just keep going with it. Just keep cutting them till you ain't got no dough left. 
All right, baby, take them and put them on. I'm gonna help it. I'm gonna help you. It's gonna be easy. Ooh, it's like a sausage thing. These things are gonna be so good. Yep. Are they gonna be good? Who's gonna give them? Who's yeah. gonna give them? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Three thumbs up. I can't get three thumbs up. All right, so you can see here we got them all laid out. The last one, we just took the remainder of the dough and just made a hand form one. We about to stick these in the oven. Uh, the Bisquick box says eight to ten minutes. And like I said, if you're making these from homemade, which I do that a lot of times, but the Bisquick just has all the stuff mixed in with it, just makes it a little bit easier. If you wanted to put the lard or nothing in it, but if you eat the flour before it's cooked, it will make you sick. Is that what you want? I'm just kidding. It won't make you sick. <laughs> so we're going to throw these in here. 450, 8 to 10 minutes. Bring them out when they're golden brown. Just a little update on it. See them rising right there. Alright guys, here's the golden brown biscuits. We're finished with them. Let them cool off a little bit. You can put them in Ziploc bags and you can put them in the freezer and store them for later. And then you can just reheat them or you can put them in the refrigerator, heat them up in the morning. Uh, oddly enough, I like to dip mine in ketchup. They're really good that way. You could put, uh, probably could put some jelly on them, some strawberry, uh, some grape jelly. Hey! Take them some to breakfast in the morning, and they'll be really good. All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Southern Food Junkie. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know if you tried it. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that this, um, turn your oven down just a little bit more. Hey! than what I originally said. Um, I said 400 degrees, what the package called for, but I didn't take into account of putting the, the uh, cheese and the sausage in there, which is, you know makes them a little bit moist. So they need to cook a little bit longer, probably more like 15 to 20 minutes. So turn your oven down about 350, let them cook a little bit longer till they get golden brown.